SCP-216. Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-216 currently resides in Laboratory 5. Access requires Level 2 clearance. Insertion of recording devices into SCP-216 is prohibited without O5 approval. Description SCP-216 is a 35.6 cm high iron safe with a multiple dial combination lock. The lock has seven dials each, with numbers ranging from 0 to 9. The combination cannot be changed while the door is open. The weight of the device appears to fluctuate in an obtuse manner. The door of SCP-216 can always be opened, but the accessible interior space appears to change depending on the currently entered combination. Objects placed inside SCP-216 may be accessed by re-entering the combination that was configured when the object was inserted. Objects retrieved from SCP-216 appear to be undamaged by the device. It is speculated that every possible lock combination results in a different interior, and that there are approximately 4 million available compartments. It is unknown how many objects currently reside inside SCP-216. An engraving found on the bottom of the safe reads, 3 out of 4. It has been hypothesized that the compartments of SCP-216 are shared with three other devices of a similar nature. This hypothesis is consistent with the findings reported in Document 88-B. Document number 88-A, Dr. F initial Test Log. Combination lock set to 6692724 and door opened. Compartment appears empty. One notebook and pencil placed inside and door closed. Combination lock set to 6692725 and door opened. Compartment appears empty. Combination lock reset to 6692724 and door opened. Notebook and pencil retrieved from compartment. Note. SCP-216 appears to be a very efficient storage solution. Dr. <laughs> Document number 88-B. Dr. <laughs> Test Log. Testing the effect of inserted items on the SCP's total mass. Total mass of unit before inserting item. 935.877 kilograms. Notebook and pencil, total mass 350 grams, inserted into SCP-216 and door closed. Total mass of unit after inserting item, 935.965 kilograms. Expected mass, 936.227 kilograms. Actual mass, 935.965 kilograms. Difference? 262 grams. Testing shows that SCP-216 takes on approximately 25% of the mass of its contents, suggesting the mass is distributed evenly between SCP-216 and the three other hypothesized devices. Document number 122-A. Dr. <laughs> Test Log. Compartments 0000000, 000000000 through 0000206 checked for contents. Compartment 0000000 found to contain traces of sawdust. Compartments 0000001 through 0000206 found to be empty. Further testing arranged. Document number 152-D, Dr. <laughs> Test Log. Compartments 0000332 through 000398. Each compartment had a body part from 
a 28-year-old female who had been reported missing on 2000. Contents removed for identification and then incinerated. Liver, spleen, and lungs not recovered. Document number 159-B, Dr. Test log. Compartment 0000409. A live wolverine with a mass of 30 kilograms. Upon the door being opened, it attacked and killed Dr. and mutilated two nearby D-class personnel before being shot five times by guards. Autopsy of the Wolverine revealed no anomalies. Subsequent examination of compartment 0000409 has revealed it now contains only loose Wolverine hair with residual traces of Wolverine urine and Wolverine anal musk. Document number 160-A, Dr. Test Log. Compartment 0000456, a fully loaded Glock 19 handgun with a round in the chamber and one regular flavor Klondike bar ice cream dessert. The ice cream bar was not melted, cold to the touch, and remained so as long as it was in the compartment. It was removed for inspection and began to melt within two minutes. It was placed back in the compartment. The door closed for three hours and then reopened. The ice cream bar was in the same slightly melted state as it was when it was placed back three hours prior. The ice cream bar was removed, placed in a freezer in the nearby second floor cafeteria for one hour. After one hour, it was placed back into the compartment with the handgun and the door closed. Document number 161-A, Dr. <laughs> Test Log. Chamber 0000501, confirmed to be empty, had one standard foundation GPS unit placed inside it. When the chamber was sealed, GPS failed. Data from the unit upon retrieval showed that the satellite was unable to confirm source location during this time. Document number 174-B, Dr. King test log. Chamber 6162384, 51 apple seeds. Chamber 1846563, 22 apple seeds. Chamber 2960104, 9 apple seeds. Chamber 8585821, 78 apple seeds. Chamber 1111111, one heavily decomposed apple. Document number 152-E, Dr. <laughs> Test Log. On April 16th, all previously checked compartments were opened with the intention of confirming contents. When compartments 0000332 to 000398 were opened. Individual body parts were found corresponding to an unknown male, arranged in the same order as found in experiment 152-D, including the liver, spleen, and lungs. All previous traces of tissue from experiment 152-D, which had not been cleaned, were found to have been sterilized from these compartments. Pursuant to request for O5 directive, body parts were placed back into their compartments. Containment procedures currently under review. Document number 162-A, Dr. <coughs> Test Log. Testing performed by Dr. <coughs> One <coughs> digital video camera recorder was set to record and placed in compartment 5500000, oriented so as to face outwards towards the door. The door was closed and compartment 5500001 was opened. Compartment 5500001 was found to be empty. The door was closed, 
compartment 55000000, was opened again, and the video camera recorder was retrieved. Upon viewing the recorded footage, Dr. <laughs> suffered from a transient ischemic attack. The recorded footage shows Dr. <laughs> placing the video camera inside the safe and closing the door. No time passes before the door is reopened and the video camera is retrieved from the safe. This is inconsistent with the scene reported by Dr. <laughs> no audible sound is present on the recorded footage. A subsequent analysis of the video camera revealed that several internal components of the camera had been fractured. Document number 162-B, Dr. <laughs> Test Log. Data expunged. Data expunged. Document number 162-D, Dr. <laughs> Test Log. One tape recorder was placed inside compartment 55000000, and the door was closed. Several other compartments were opened and closed before returning to compartment 55000000 and retrieving the tape recorder. The following file has been reported to cause disorientation, nausea, sweating, a sense of overwhelming despair, abdominal pains, panic attacks, migraines, and strokes. This file should only be listened to in a secure environment. Do not drive or operate heavy machinery for up to 24 hours after listening to this file. Refrain from making quick eye movements while listening to this file. Thank <laughs> you.